What's up everybody? So in today's video we're going to learn how to make a candlestick stock chart using a library called React Stock Charts. And this is what it's going to look like right here. We have this basic stock chart that I made um, with my own manual data where we can see the highest point of a candle, the lowest point, and where the candle ended. And whether it ended in red or green. Cool. Let's get into it. Cool, so go ahead and open up your code editor of choice. I opened up my Visual Studio code, and the first thing that I'll do is create a React app. So I'll do npx create React app, and I'll call it stock chart tut. Stands for tutorial, and let that work its magic. It's going to take a couple of minutes. All right, so that just took about like 97 minutes. So I'm going to go into that folder that I just made and I'm going to install all of our dependencies that we will need. So I'm going to do npm i and I'll do d3-dsv space d3-format d3-scale oh there's going to be a lot of d3 d3-time format prop types react stock charts and short id and let that work its magic. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as how long the app actually took to make. Cool, so now let's go ahead and open up our folder and open up the source folder. And inside of here, I will create a new folder called components. Inside of there, I'll create two files. One I'll call chart.js and another one I will call data.js and I'm going to open up the data.js file. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste the data that I made in the beginning of the tutorial for the introduction. And this data is also in the description below. It'll be a link. And just go ahead and open it and copy it and paste it inside of this data.js file. And I'm just going to quickly talk about what uh, these keys and values even mean. All right, so the first one we have here is new date, and then we have the string 2020.01.01.000. What the heck does this mean? Well, this is just the year, month, and date, and the time of when that candle occurred. And the new date basically converts this into a more readable format, and it'll just turn it into this, basically. This is equivalent to Wednesday, January the 1st, 2020, at basically 12 a.m. GMT Mountain Standard Time. The next one is open and I will show an image of what all these are. So we have an example of a candle a candlestick right here and open is the day that the candle open is what the price it opened at. So in our case it'll open at $33. The high is how high the candle went so 30, $33.5. So in this case it'll go all the way up here the low, which is all the way down here, is how low the candle actually went into the negative from the day's open, and the close is where the candle ended. So if it's a green candle, you would expect it to be above the day's open, which is right up here. If it's a negative, then you can basically see a red, and these two will be switched. And the volume is, if I'm not mistaken, the volume of the company. All right, so that's all the financial stuff I'll talk about before I get into any more trouble. Uh, so I'll save this file, and I will exit out of there. We don't need that open anymore. And I'll go into app.js, and I'll just convert this to ES6 syntax. So the const app is equal to parentheses, arrow function, get rid of this app.css logo, header, I'll just type in hello world. I'll open up a new terminal. And I'll start up the application, minimize the terminal. Well, actually, I'll just wait until it opens up. And while that's happening, I will just copy all this stuff. Oops, I gotta save it too. Copy it and paste it in here. And let's refactor it so it's not app, but instead it's chart.js. Uh, yeah, I think I'm still running my other application. Whoops, I'll turn that off later. So let's make sure that everything is working. It should be. Actually, you know what? Let's import chart.js into our app.js file. So I'll save this stuff and I'll do import. Oops. 
import chart js from dot slash whoops dot slash components slash chart and it's that here instead of doing hello world I will just do chart js and let's see how this bad boy looks doesn't show anything did we type anything we did oh that's weird why you not work this is the first thing that I hope would work damn okay so components chart JS I feel like I'm missing something very very crucial that should be very easy to spot but I'm just an idiot Hmm. Can I even type anything in here? Okay, so it's there, but it's oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, oops. There we go. Now, which should work? Chart JS. Now, which should work? There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to import all of my dependencies that we need. So I'm going to go into my chart.js file, and inside of there I will import prop types from prop types, import scale time from d3 scale, import uh, made data, so our data that we made from dot slash data. And now import chart canvas and chart from React stock charts. And now import candlestick series from React stock charts slash lib slash series. And now import x axis and y axis from React stock chart slash lib slash axes. And now import UTC day from D3 dash time. Oops, time format. And now import fit width from react stock chart slash lib slash helper and the last one import time interval bar width from react stock chart slash lib slash utils all right so now i'm going to change this from a const to a let and inside of here i will create a variable so const object curly braces and type width and ratio is equal to props and I'll also put in props right here and now I will also do const data is equal to made data I should probably make this a capital M too there we go and so now I'm going to do const x accessor is equal to d arrow function inside of here just return d dot date and I'll save that all right so now let's create our chart canvas so inside of the return where we have our hello world I will get rid of that and I will do chart canvas and inside of this opening brace I will do height Oops, H E I G H T is equal to 400. Ratio is equal to ratio. Ah, okay. And width is equal to width. Margin is equal to left 50, right 50, top. Oh, whoops. Right 50 top 50 oops top 10 and bottom 30 
Now I got these values off of the actual documentation because that chart was perfectly in the middle. And so now I will do type is equal to oops is equal to type series name is equal to msft x accessor is equal to our function that we made x accessor x scale is equal to scale time and our x extent e x t and t s is equal to and now this is a little bit confusing so this is basically when you first render the uh the stock chart what range do you want to show the date at to be at so i will just do new date and i'll do 2020 uh 0 and 30 so and now it'll be at new date 2020 1 16 and i'll save that so what this will do is it will show data from january 30th all the way to february 16th when the chart initially renders all right now let's set our properties for our actual chart so inside of the chart canvas i will create a tag chart and inside of the opening brace i will do id is equal to one y extents is equal to d arrow function d dot high and d dot low and now inside of the actual um, chart tag i will do x-axis with a self-closing brace and a y-axis with a self-closing brace now inside of the x-axis i will do axis at is equal to bottom and orient is equal to bottom oops and i'll do ticks equals to six with the curly brace and inside of the y-axis it'll be similar to what we did up there so axis at is equal to left and orient is equal to left and ticks is equal to five so the x-axis will be on the bottom and the y-axis will be at the left and now inside of the chart tag i will also do candle stick series with a self-closing brace width is equal to oops curly brace time interval bar width and utc day and i'll save that all right, so this part, to be honest with you, I don't really understand why we need it, but uh, remember how we changed our let uh, our const charge.js to let charge.js? So right outside of our actual return statement and our entire function, I will do types is equal to curly brace and data is required width prop types dot number dot is required ratio prop types dot number dot is required and the last one type is equal to not equal to uh, semicolon prop types dot one of svg hybrid is required now these two i'm assuming that this is because um, we would make sure that the data is required the width has to be required and the ratio has to be required the type i'm not quite sure why we need that but uh, right underneath it i will also do chart js dot default props is equal to type svg and Right outside of here, I will also do chart js is equal to fit width, and we'll just do chart oops chart js. So this will make sure that it's fitting properly within our application. All right, so now we're almost done. So I'm going to go inside of my app.js file and I'm going to import our date data 
So import made data from dot slash components slash data. And inside of our const app function, I will create a use state variable. So const charts to display and set charts to display is equal to use state and an empty array bracket. All right, so now I'm gonna create a function that is gonna be responsible for grabbing our data, grabbing our data from our chart.js uh, component as well, and making a chart out of it. So right underneath our use state variable, I will create a, another function. So I'll do const get data is equal to async curly brace or parentheses arrow function curly brace and I will do const charts is equal to empty array and I'll do charts dot push I'll do chart js with a self closing brace I'll give it a key of one since we only have one chart and we don't have to worry about it and I'll do data is equal to made data and right underneath it I will do set charts to display to be charts. And now I'm going to take this function and put it into a use state. Oh, sorry, a use effect. So use effect, parentheses, parentheses, arrow function, curly brace. And I'll add an empty array bracket right outside of there. And I'll just call our function. So get data. And I'll save that. Oops, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to remove this chart.js tag and replace it with our charts to display. And I'll save that. Now let's see what we get cooking. So it says attempted import error UTC date from D3 time format. So most likely we did not import it properly. Oops. So I'm going to go inside my chart.js file and I'll get rid of format. And now let's see what we get. Okay, I think it broke again. What's the error? Can I read property length of undefined? That makes no sense. Hold on. So chart canvas, we have our height, ratio, width, type. All right, we also need to put in data. So data is equal to data. And now it should work. There we go. Now we have a candlestick chart with our own data that we imported where we can see our uh, highs, our very lows, and where this candle actually ended on that day. Cool, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. It was a quick one, and uh, the link to the documentation for this library is in the description below, so go ahead and check that out. I highly encourage you to guys try some stuff out of there, um, learn more about this library, because I think it's pretty cool. And I also want to thank you all for helping me reach 500 subscribers. That's friggin' crazy. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.